Okay, welcome to a tour of our garden. There's one of the dogs jumping into the scene. They may well take a starring role. This is one of our favourite views of the garden. Um, so we've had this wall to my right built just recently and the two steps um, that then take you up to a path which is also fairly new. The Wendy house has been there the whole of the time we've been here and we've been here for 18 years. This Acer, rather lovely, and there's the path I was just describing. So I'm going to go up these two steps just to show you. So we've got this path that takes you up to the right and that's all the way up to our vegetable garden at the back. You can see the runner beans uh, structure, so it's a sort of pyramid. And you can see the decking, that's for our cedar house that you'll see a bit more in a moment. Um, it's from the decking that I took the picture of under the damson tree. This is a cherry tree I'm looking under now and you can see we've got giant poppies, alliums. Um, we've got in the bed, we've got salvias, anemones, um, foxgloves, campanula, I think. I'm going to go down this way now towards the other sets of steps up into our garden. You can see we've got a lot of ferns here. So the garden's actually slightly above the level of our ground floor at home. Um, and then in this position we can see lots of hardy geranium. There's a lot of that around this garden and it stands, has stood footballs, dogs. That's a rather lovely rose with a choice here behind. Hydrangea to the left, Fatinia above. You can see we've got big skies and that's the first view of the cedar house that we had built, I think it's three or four years ago now. Um, and there's the Wendy house. I'm going to look behind me as well, just so you can see. We tend to put a gazebo up here. So we've got a climbing hydrangea that goes up the back of the house. And this is a sort of nice evening place. We sometimes have a fire pit uh, on as well. So we're going to go around. There's, in fact, I will just show you the hosta, nearly in flower. I'm going to come around. You, this is one of our borders. Um, it's a spirea, hardy geranium. It's a physocarpus. It's just about over really, but it's very attractive with pom poms on it. A uh, big hosta beneath. We've got vigellas and uh, verbenas. Another hardy geranium. We do like them. Uh, and then there's the Wendy house. I've got a broom above me. Just about over, really. I'll take a view of higher up. I just think the big skies are fantastic. And that border there, that's extended hugely over the last few years. We've got hardy geranium, spirea, camellia. Um, what else have we got? Box, ribes. That's the damson tree. And there's the cedar house. Lots of great fun times in there. And that's that border just the other way around. Okay, I'm going to go a bit quicker through. This is our archway, definitely our next project because it's leaning over rather, but we'll get to that at a stage. So this is our second area. Uh, we tend to entertain quite a lot there. We call that our beach house. It's also got the shed behind it. And then to the right, we've got a lovely rose there underneath the curly, curly willow. Fox gloves, some red currants, some herb garden here. And that's a choice here. And there's the view of the cedar house over a fairly heavily chopped forsythia. So kind of whizzing round. Bit quick, sorry if I'm making anybody feel it. Uh, this is the chicken pen. So that's Marsha. She's happy. That's actually next door's garden, but they didn't mind me showing you the extent of some of the trees. Uh, 
a few barbecues already in this lockdown. I mean, you can see the grass is looking very, very bare. There's a blackbird just coming across us. We've been very lucky this year. We've got lots and lots of nesting birds. We've got song thrushes, wrens. So we're now going behind the shed and um, we're going to get to the third area of the garden, which we call our walled kitchen garden. So this has really been the big project for lockdown. We've uh, increased the number of beds and increased the size of any existing beds. Um, we've got all sorts really. So this is Swiss chard in front of us with some sunflowers behind the turnips which went to seed. So they're not my greatest success some uh, pak choy, I think we're going to be eating a lot of stir fries, broad beans, some onions and carrots, potatoes in pots, runner beans which you can see are already just beginning to flower and they've gone over six feet tall, um, sweet peas, climbing French beans, then we've got kale in the next bed, beetroot, Cavolo Nero onions that are ready to go, uh, ready to harvest, garlic, cabbages. Um, this is the wall with tomatoes in front. They're now three feet tall nearly and doing really well with a line of radishes in the front. We've got courgettes, lots and lots of potatoes. Uh, this fence we've had built fairly recently. We've got some achillea here. And as we come down, you can see how well developed the potatoes are. We've got a line of lettuce and a line of rocket in there as well. The cabbages. Um, these are the courgette plants. Just as the very, we've, we've squeezed a lot in, probably squeezed it a bit too hard, really. There's the view of the rest of the garden. So you can see now the orientation. There's the beach house rather huge thistle thing and some courgettes and joster berries. We've got strawberries just in those pots by the brick collection, <laughs> I call it that. This was our chips as I described on our photographs and so uh, they're all nearly in flower actually, the potato plants that are under the laurel. Um, some carrots in that bag which I'm experimenting with see whether they work out or not and here we've got some dogwoods and we can then look back at the house and you can just about see via the cedar house the Acer where we began and a bit of an allium sticking up okay thanks for viewing I hope you're having a nice day and a nice weekend all the best